in this video i would be making this top which is inspired from this reformation top out of this simple cardigan the twist front detail on the borders of the reformation top is what caught my eye so i decided to make one for myself first you need to lay your cardigan down on the floor the fabric from the sleeves would be used to form the twist front detail to do that you need to remove the sleeves from the cardigan you can cut it or seam rip it I seam ripped mine which was actually pretty tedious because I had a hard time differentiating between the thread and the actual fabric but in the end you would be left with this situation. Now you need to open up the sleeves from where they are stitched. Once both of your sleeves are opened up, you are gonna inspect them to see if you have sufficient fabric to drape around your chest. If one sleeve is long enough to be twisted and placed on your chest then go ahead with just one or like my case where one just wasn't enough you would need to use two of them. So I placed one sleeve like so and measured half my chest measurement plus some seam allowance along the length of the sleeve and I measured from the non-curved side because I want to use the curved side to make the actual sleeves of the stock. I did the same on the other side. Notice that now you have two rectangular pieces that you would have to stitch together to form one continuous piece. To stitch them together, you want to place them right sides together and stitch along the line that you just marked. After that, you would cut close to the stitching line. Here I am trying on to see how the front twist part looks on me. It is a bit longer than I had expected it to be but that's okay, I can always take it in from the side. It's always a good idea to take larger measurements than smaller ones because you can always fix it if you have more fabric. Also if you're worried about the center stitching line being visible then don't worry because it won't be visible and if it is showing then you can kind of maneuver the twist part to make it seem less visible and kind of hide it inside. The neckline of this top comes diagonally from your underarm to your shoulder like in a raglan sleeve top. I've always found it hard to draft a pattern for those sleeves but I hope this works out. To make the sleeves, take the leftover fabric that you just cut out from your original sleeves of the cardigan. They already have a curved outline so it's easy to transform them into the raglan sleeve pattern. My sleeves were a bit loose so I had some extra material to go around my shoulder. Fold the sleeves in half, the curved side is going to go around your shoulder and the bottom part is where your arms would go in and where you would have to eventually stitch the sleeve together. If you have a hard time visualizing this then I assure you I was pretty confused too. Just focus on the curved part for now. The bottom right curved part would be your diagonal neckline part. Measure 4 inches or 5 inches depending on upon how high you want your neckline to be from the bottom right corner. You are going to attach this part to the front twist fabric that you just made, the long rectangular that you just made. Make sure your sleeve and your rectangle are parallel to each other and the bottom right corner of the sleeve is placed on your left rectangle edge and your marking on the sleeve should be placed over the top edge of your rectangle. Now trace the diagonal line of the sleeve on the rectangle. Do the same on the other side. Open up the sleeve and place the right side of the sleeve, the one on which you made the marking, along the diagonal line of the rectangle. Pin it in place and stitch along the diagonal line to attach your sleeves to the front twist part.
probably think everything is going great until you realize that you haven't twisted the front part. When you do twist the front part, one sleeve goes down while the other one watches him from the top. Unless you are an alien, this top can never fit your body. You are frustrated and angry but nevertheless, you want to make this top a reality. So you go ahead and seam rip one sleeve and redo it by first twisting the front part and then you would attach it. Okay, things are for sure looking good now. To make the rest of the top, bring back your cardigan. The part of the cardigan which is under the underarm line, that is the line which joins both the underarms, would be used to make the rest of the top. You are going to cut across the underarm line and sew the front pieces together along the center. I sewed the front pieces by turning the cardigan inside out and with the right sides together, I stitched near the open edges. You would now have with you the front part of the cardigan and the back part which still has the back neckline attached to it. Separate the front and the back parts from each other by cutting along the sides. You can cut all the way down to the bottom but you only need to cut enough for the front twist rectangle to be attached and sewn. If you are confused again then to be safe just cut all the way down to the bottom. Now I'm just looking at the front part. Place your front twist part plus sleeves on top of this front part. You are going to sew along the sides to attach them onto each other. You can position the bottom part to be lower or higher depending upon how you want your neckline to look. If you position it lower then you have a lower V neckline and if you position it higher then the fabric which is underneath would actually come across your neckline and it would show under your twist detail. After you're done positioning, top stitch the parts together. The front part of the top is almost done. We'll now try to make the back neckline of this top. Remember what we did to the diagonal neckline for the front part? We are going to do the same thing for the back part. Fold your sleeve so that the back sleeve comes forward. Now mark the diagonal line by taking the front diagonal line as a reference. Repeat on the other side. Take the back part of the cardigan and mark where you want your underarm to be. Now place your front part below your back part such that they match at the sides and at the underarm point. Fold your sleeve over so that it reaches the back part of the top. Now mark a diagonal line from the underarm point by taking the markings on the back sleeve as a reference. Repeat on the other side. After drawing the diagonal lines, you're going to trace the back neckline. I went for just a straight neckline. You can give a curve if you want to. You can make it a low V back neckline or anything that you want. Stitch the sleeves on the back part just like you stitched your front sleeves on the front part. Cut the back neckline. Try your top on. It would probably look a bit hideous, but just go with it. Pin the sleeve openings and the front and the back part on the sides to get an idea of the fit of the top. Check on the twist detail. If that part looks a bit larger, then you can cut along the bottom or the top to give it the look that you want to. Check to see how much fabric needs to be taken in at the sides to perfectly hug your shape. You would notice that the neckline is a bit loose and doesn't stay in place. I guess this is what happens in case of soft and slippery fabrics. To fix this, you are now going to sew in an elastic along the sleeves and the back neckline to prevent it from gaping and falling down. Turn the top inside out and make your markings. Stitch along them.
the top looks much better now even though i haven't added the elastic to the neckline yet it still looks good the sleeves look a bit weird i might have to cut them to make them look better and also i have to hem the edges later well spoiler alert i did none of that i just folded them inside and they were fine turn the top inside out and place an elastic along the back neckline now fold that part inside to hide the elastic and pin it in place as you do this step stretch the elastic slightly do this all the way over your sleeves and the entire back neckline then stitch along the pins And this is how the top finally looks. I honestly love how the neckline turned out to be. I mean, it's got this half octagonal shape, if that makes any sense. Overall, I think that this is one of my favorite DIYs yet. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you decide to try out this top on your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.